the timing of the arrival of this hawk is very important to me right now because I was contemplating how I was going to make this video and deliver it to you and I was thinking very deeply into the meaning of what I was about to say and I heard that bird squawking as it flew in and I didn't know what it was but I had just come to a realization about what I was going to tell you about this finding here and I was uh, I walked up on this I want to get the right perspective for you so despite my shadow being in the way when I walked up on this it was striking to me and that it was a placement in this area that I know they come and they do little builds and make statues and stuff and there's a constantly reoccurring lean-to structure that that occurs right to the left of me here um, so anyway so I'm interpreting this stick and of course the first thing you see is the Y and it's peeled bark, you know, on the split. Some is left here. But I thought they were trying to accentuate that Y split. But there was also the angle of the stick. And I thought about it a little bit. And as I thought about it, I stood here and I looked and I said, you know, that kind of looks like a snake with its tongue hanging out. In fact, if you look closely, it's even got a forked tongue. So that very much is part of this artistic interpretation that I'm talking about, the Sasquatch mind and their artistic interpretation. But not only that, not only does that look like a snake, but when you look down on a snake and you see the body of a snake, the two eyes are sitting on top you're going to see the protrusion of the eyelids, especially on a rattlesnake with the big scales. So that looked like a snake from above. And then what does a snake have? A forked tongue. So the language speaks of the body of the snake. Even a two-headed snake with the forked tongue. But is that what they saw in this stick? that made them put it up here like that. That's what, that's the conclusion that my mind came to after just reading into the artistic nature of the scene. Really, I don't know how to describe it. Using your artistic eye to interpret nature, right? But that's what they do. And so they put that here for us. We didn't it's not like I haphazardly found this and just made this story up about the snake, right? I mean, I did, but it was inspired by this stick here. Is that the message that Sasquatch is trying to portray? And the irony that a bird of prey would come, and that's a creature who would swoop down and catch a snake. So that just speaks to me even more deeply about the possibility of things. So... It's very interesting to think about, isn't it? Um, but maybe this means more than you would think at first glance. But those are the subtleties that you want to look for when you're really trying to connect with these creatures. Um, and if nothing else, I think they would appreciate that interpretation. But honest to God, I really think that they see these things and they see these shapes in nature and it just makes you wonder but anyway thank you for considering these ideas and joining me in the moment take care